Mark Rose here at Monster Mania 2012 for the very tall, the debonair, the good looking Mr. Ed Herman. Got Thank all his you. hair left. How Thank are you, sir? I'm very well. You look wonderful, and, and man. What a nice introduction because it's all true. Yes, yes it, it is. is. <laughs> I think you are, though. You're an no, actor no, no, extraordinary. No. You've done a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, yeah my question, my first one yeah. is what led you to acting? Did you have. Uh, did you have any other career in mind before you really got into this, sir? Yeah, my father was an engineer, my brother was in merchandising and business, and I thought I'd be in business, uh, maybe advertising or something. It never right. occurred to me that I could be uh, in this crazy profession. <laughs> but it's kind of by a process of elimination. Um, this was the most enjoyable, and it used more of me than anything else. Yes, sir. Um, I could be... You, you need some level of intelligence to dig into historical parts, into plays, in the theater. Well, you and did you FDR, got... and that's that's a biggie. That's a major role. You were outstanding yeah. in that, actually. Thank you. And I'm, I'm sure I'm sure you know history to a point anyway, but I'm sure you had to do research. I like did. I was saying. a history major until I switched to English. Yes, and sir. and um, uh, Roosevelt was a great script. It was a great project. It was blessed because we had a lead time of a couple of months. Outstanding. So you could prepare. Yeah. Well, I met everybody in the Roosevelt family except wow. Anna who was dying of yes, cancer. Sir. But I had lunch with Grace Tully, wow. uh, his secretary. It That's was amazing. They were just nearing the end, you yeah. know, and I caught them just before they That's left. That's great. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Great timing. Yeah. That was a blessing then for Yeah. That. It was a great script too. Yes. And Jane Alexander was brilliant as yes. Eleanor and yes, we had indeed. One of the best directors ever, Dan Petrie, who was, yes, it, the whole project was beautiful. Good. Well, it turned out really well, and yeah. you did an outstanding job. Thank you. You've done a lot of genre films as well, and mm -hmm. you're here at Monster Mania. A lot of fans are into genre, Lost oh, yes. Boys, things like that. Well, I had no idea. Yes. Uh, this is only the second time I've done one That's of these. That's right. We and almost had a virgin convention goer, but almost, no, this is number two. Almost. So. But it was at Virginia <laughs> Beach, and I, I suddenly I realized people were crazy. This was 20th anniversary of the film. Yes, sir. And all of these guys that came to the film was a nice reunion because I'd never I hadn't seen him since we wrapped sure. 20 years before wow really that yeah. is a long time yeah so it was fun it was a lot of fun good now for you getting the role and I'll move on but I do want to touch a little on Lost Boys when you got the role mm -hmm. did they come to you did you audition and and how was that really getting into that role because you did a fantastic job in that part thank you uh, I don't know Joel Schumacher asked me to come and meet and talk uh, I don't know why particularly he wanted I think somebody who uh, people wouldn't suspect was and the yeah, guy. Yeah, right, because you did pull that off very well. And Nobody I, knew. Well, I also knew uh, Diane Weiss was a close friend yes. and uh, and Barney Hughes yes. and, and Kiefer I knew briefly because he came to Williamstown where oh, I was okay. working um, and we had a director friend in, in, in common, the fellow who directed uh, yes. Roosevelt, in yes. fact, Dan Petrie, another Canadian. <laughs> nice. So we, we met there and so it happened. And it's a history after that. Yep. Yeah, it's right. Deep. Any really fun behind the scenes stuff that you can tell us about uh, shooting Lost Boys that maybe nobody's heard yet? Oh, the boys <laughs> that played the uh, vampires up there in Santa Cruz yes. uh, kept us awake all night long. The, <laughs> the lines outside their door. Oh, no. And I commented to, um, uh, of the ladies, and I commented to Diane that it, just once in my life I would be love to be as effortlessly beautiful as those kids <laughs> because the girls just would just the flowing hair i'm next the, i'm next yeah, you know i know um no but uh the <laughs> it was a it was a tough shoot technically because of the makeup and the craziness sure, sure. but um joel schumacher was brilliant at, at handling all the kids in good, it um, good. and so we had a wonderful time good i got great got along great with jason patrick and well, everybody, you know. Sure. Yeah. Fantastic. It was a good role. It was, it was, good, oh, good it was a lot of fun. Yeah, and it is an icon. I mean, yeah. you're an icon in our history, but a lot of what you've done is well, as well. Yes, I'm rather disappointed. No one's ever asked me to do another vampire. It would be I too know. bad. Come on. Well, you know. did do. But my standards to, are fairly high, yeah, though. Yes, yeah. and so you're exactly. going to have to be really, if you're going to do it, yeah. you got to do the head vampire again. Oh, yeah. Oh, or yeah. something above that. Oh, yeah. His superior. <laughs> you've got the statue. You can definitely pull it off. <laughs> if it's in the writing, I may be able to do it. And I wanted to touch on uh, uh, you in the role of Herman Monster. How was that for you? Another genre piece for this. That this was genre. a that was a ball I because I'm fun. a big admirer of, of Fred Gwynn. Yes, sir. He actually lived in my town. I'm Did from he? Barrow, Maryland, oh, yeah? and he lived up in the boonies in Maryland. Oh, yeah. well, he had a horse farm. Really yes, bright sir. guy. Went to Harvard, and he and for the one of the brightest guy. Car 54. Where are you in Herman I Munster? People think sure. think he's not bright but he was sharp yeah. as a tack yeah that was great. Uh, but the old cast came to the came to the set Wonderful. and that was that was great Bumpus fun Patrick is a friend of mine mm -hmm. anyway yeah so, yeah 
Um, but uh, the makeup, I don't know how he did it because we had, uh, it was a little more advanced, a little easier to put on. It still drove me crazy. Yes. But hot, we were shooting in the valley, it was oh, like 100, 104 degrees. Sure. And I'm 6'5", and they still had me in these enormous boots. Yeah. And I'm driving the tea bucket, right? <laughs> the original tea bucket. And it hadn't been tested. I oh. went skidding around the corner and jammed on the brakes. And, and one of them held and the other one didn't. I nearly took out a row of police cars. It was crazy, absolutely crazy. It's a great story, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Now for you, um, people are here, they're collecting autographs. Yeah. I'm a huge collector. I yeah. write for two autograph magazines. Uh -huh. Are you a collector of anything in, in any genre? Do you collect anything? Uh, yeah, I collect, I like uh, electric trains. Do I like you? trains, awesome. yeah. Uh, I tend to like uh, the big cars. I like uh, automobiles. Oh, wow. Um, I the, the guys who play that game, I'm MC at Pebble Beach. Yes, sir. Uh, and I've collected and shown around. I don't have the money that the, you know, some of these guys have 200 cars oh, and their own mechanics putting, and yeah. restores, you know. Oh, my God, yeah, Jay Leno. He's oh, got his millions. Garage. Yeah, <laughs> millions. So I hang on with one or two cars. That's but, uh, very cool. That's fun. Yeah. That's, so that's a really good collectible. Yeah, 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 yeah. my God. Well, that eases up the money. But I, I like, um, <laughs> I did a play called Journey's End once and about the First World War, and I've collected World War One memorabilia and, yes, and journals and memoirs. As well. Yeah. And you've That's done theater. Tell us a little oh, yeah. bit about uh, your theater. Uh, well, I, st I started in theater right. um, and a repertory theater down in Texas, and then I was a Fulbright to London, uh, London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art. And I've done theater in London and New York and in the wow. provinces all well, over the place. In theater. And I'll still be doing, Sam Watterson and I are going to do a, a production at Yale Rep oh, next okay, year. Oh, sure, yeah. So. Any favorite roles in any genre that you've done that you really enjoyed? Film, uh, television? Besides theater? Max? Besides, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Uh, besides, besides Max and Max. FDR. Yes. And, uh, yes. uh, I, they, because they were good to you. Yeah, sure they're you very good it, to yeah. you. Um, one of the roles that I loved was uh, uh, the role of um, uh, Stanhope in um, uh, Journey's End. It's a play right. about the First World War. Yes, sir. Uh, and some of the other uh, roles, I got a Tony for uh, playing Frank in um, uh, Mrs. Warren's Profession with Ruth Gordon. and Fantastic, and. Yeah. Uh, 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 so uh, worked with a lot of great people. I too, have, yeah, Laurence Olivier and yes. Alec Guinness, and you know, so and George C. Scott. Or yeah. as I should say, they got to work with you. As oh yeah, well, lucky so them. Yes, right. oh yes, lucky them. But we well, had fun. Let me ask you this, because yeah. I'll wrap this up. Yeah. Um, for you, uh, double question, double-edged sword. Professionally, what do you have coming up that we can get out there to fans to know about? Can you tell us anything? Yeah, I just did a film uh, that Matt Weiner uh, directed with uh, Zach Galifianakis and uh, Owen He's Wilson. Cool actor, and too, oh, yeah, yeah, Zach yeah, is great. great guy. And Amy Poehler. Oh, wow. Uh, Saturday so, Night Live. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. You know, and, and Matt is a very interesting director. He does Mad Men. Yes, yeah. yes. I just finished a little film called Christmas Oranges, which missed the cycle for Hallmark for Christmas this oh, year. This I think time. it'll be I think it'll be there next year. Yes, sir. Um, That'll and, be great. And my uh, father yeah. will watch it, yeah. I'll tell you right and I now. Just did a, oh, yeah, yeah, good. He just loves those, good. those things that you've done. And, the Hallmark uh, Channel. Yeah, what else, Hallmark, sir? Um, well, I just um, did the second episode of the new season of um, uh, The Good Wife. Right. I have a continuing role on that. Now, I love that show. Yeah. And my wife yeah. loves that show. Yeah. Tell us about your character in that a little bit. And I didn't even touch on Gilmore Girls, but my God. Well, Gilmore yeah. just keeps chugging Gilmore away keeps, yeah, on the family a channel. fans of Gilmore Girls. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. You were uh, outstanding in that. Kelly Bishop and I are still close friends. Really? We live in New York. And so is uh, Alexis, who lives out in Brooklyn. Outstanding. Yeah. But yeah, I'm in to know a little bit about the, the good wife that you've uh, your well it's is a character that that started uh, last season uh, he's a lawyer in the uh, code basically the codes and standards See, I department can see you as a judge well, I loved it. I was yeah. a judge on the show they pulled the cork on, yeah. the, the yeah. uh, Harry's Law, yes. which yes. was a shame because I'm a great pal of, uh, uh, of Kathy Bates, Kathy yeah. Bates yeah. and yes, David sir. Kelly. Sure. Uh, and I was all set to sort of just sit there with my black robe <laughs> and read my lines up here on the thing. It would be great. And now you're playing and now, lawyer, now, so. I gotta, now I have to memorize yeah, yeah, my yeah. lines. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the well, role. Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. He's, a, he's, a, um, he's in charge of uh, discipline. Uh, for the lawyers in Chicago, and wow. he's on the board, and uh, or he's in that office, and sure. he was part. Of, he, they worked him into this plot, and they brought him back nice. to, uh, to actually practice a case, do a case Good. against this lawyer that he had to discipline. Yes. Um, so, oh, wow. so, uh, and he's Very he's it's friendly. I mean, he knows the guy, and yeah, he sure. he did he disciplined rather than disbarred him. 
So right. he's now, this is his first case. But I'm sort of professionally, I'm, you have to do your and job. And I have to do so. my job. And sure. I run, so it's a fun, <laughs> it's a fun case. Good, so I, good. it's a little more of me in this, in this episode. Good, good. that's so, great. It's fun. Any, any uh, cast members on you know, that uh, shoot that you really enjoy working with? Oh, I mean, all of them. It's beautifully cast. Yeah. Rita Wilson showed like, up the like other day. Oh, yeah. Episodes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Rita Wilson showed up, and she's wow. an old friend from, uh, we did a play wow. together. Uh, Tom Hanks. Didn't Tom Hanks. Did? No, well I know Tom, but yeah, but uh, sure but you do. but she was. He's in California. We <laughs> shoot it in Brooklyn. Sure. Uh, so it's in uh, it's fantastic. in my part of the world. So because really I live in Connecticut. To see you in well, bless and your heart. The other part of the question is you personally, privately, downtime, off time. What do you enjoy, sir? What do you like to do? What does that uh, like to do? Uh, take a <laughs> take a breath. Look after the family. Make yes. sure that my wife is all right. She's yes, uh, just gotten out of the hospital with another knee operation. Oh, She's okay. had knee replacements, and wow, uh, we lot. have five dogs, three cats, a turtle, and a horse. So, and Fantastic. I and I have a 16-year-old in school. So that keeps me busy. Yeah, I'm sure that really <laughs> yes, does. Exactly. Um, what kind of animals? Uh, I mean, a dog and cat, but what, what breeds? And well, I'm a big animal. Person. They're all. Uh, we have. Uh, all, they're all rescue dogs except uh, the um, uh, Bichon. We have a Bichon Frise. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The Bichon Frise is is a little one that we bought oh, a replacement, yeah. and the other is this beautiful uh, part golden. Uh, farmers were going to kill it out in Arkansas, and my daughter found it and sent it back. It's wow. the best. We think it's. We think it's a. a uh, Tibetan Mastiff because it's got a mottled tongue. Wow. Sweetest tempered How dog. Old? Uh, we think around, uh, it's moving on to about eight years old now, okay. nine years old. Middle yeah, middle. Yeah. yeah. It just ran into a skunk How last night. Oh, no. So, yes. We've got about eight no. acres in Connecticut oh, and no. it just. <laughs> Thank God I wasn't there. Yeah, My yeah. wife had to deal with it. How do they all get along? Pretty oh, much great. Oh, yeah. yeah. We had three cats. Good. A great, great big, uh, another found cat came Good. scratching at the door. Oh, uh, a big mancoon. Wow. And they just lie on his back and bats the <laughs> dog and then <laughs> kicks it back. That's and they, awesome. Oh, it's a, very, yeah, it's a family man. It's a happy house. Good. Yeah. Good. Anything you'd like to uh, share for the fans? Uh, anybody that's uh, getting into acting or anything like that that you'd like to maybe tell? Uh, I'm a child of the 60s. Uh, follow your bliss. Um, ah. Get training. Get yes. training. Yes. Um, uh, acting uses you up. The television business and the movie business is much different than when I was in it. But there's no substitute for training. Yes, sir. So get some acting lessons. Get on stage. Find out about yourself, your voice, your the way you do things. You may not make your living on stage. Yes, sir. But uh, in front of a cam, there's no ex there's no uh, substitute for yeah. experience. Outstanding, good for you. And yep. if you could get an autograph from anybody, alive or dead, who would you want one from? Because oh. I'm a huge autograph collector, hence my writing job for them. Who would you want one from? I, I, that's my last question. Oh uh, God, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Marilyn Monroe, I don't know. <laughs> no, somebody that's good. who's that's uh, fair. yeah, somebody uh, like an icon. No, sure. an icon, John Barrymore or uh, some oh, yeah. Claude Rains. Sure. Um, yeah, I, oh, I yeah, admire Claude so Rains. many. So many uh, actors I admire. Great actor, yeah. Mostly, Physical mostly man. the yeah, mostly the uh, character people Good. Uh, that Good I love. Good for you. Yeah, Mr. Ed Herman, you've been a wonderful, you. wonderful interview. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Pleasure. sir, Mr. Ed Herman.